that suspect has since uh, been pronounced deceased. Uh, at this time, no officers were injured. Uh, we had eight individuals from the school who were transported to local hospitals. Uh, one adult female has been pronounced in the local hospital. I uh, believe that was from gunfire. We have one teenage female remaining here at the scene. She's also been pronounced uh, as a result of uh, Gunfire. Uh, the others who were injured uh, suffered a variety of injuries from fractal injuries to uh, gunshots. They're currently being treated. Uh, as their condition changes, hopefully for the better, we'll provide that information to you as the day goes on. Uh, the building was searched initially by responding officers, uh, then by our SWAT team. Uh, the bomb dog did go through the building after that. Uh, Force investigation unit will be conducting the investigation here. They now control the building. They're going to be uh, conducting their search and doing interviews. All the kids, uh, when they were left the school, were uh, directed to two particular locations. They took to the transported to Gateway School. Parents may respond to Gateway School to be reunited with their children. Uh, we do need to get the information of the kids who are in the building so we can talk to them. That may not happen. They, we need to get their information, understand, but they may not be interviewed today, uh, understanding that they just went to a traumatic incident. We do need to identify who was in the building and where they were at. That's very important. Um, the officers did an amazing job of talking to a captain who was one of the first people into the school building. He spoke about how the officers arrived, quickly uh, made entry with no hesitation, went directly to the sound of gunfire, which is the expectation not only of the department, but of the community as well, to protect our kids and our teachers in the schools that should be considered safe. Uh, this is a heartbreaking day for all of us. Uh, it's going to be tough. While on paper we might have nine victims, eight were transported and one remained, we have hundreds of them. Everyone who survives here is going to take home trauma. Even the officers who responded here, the firefighters, and the paramedics who worked on people here are going to experience some degree of trauma. Uh, it's terrible to think about here is a safe place where kids go to learn, to grow, to develop, and uh, something like this happens. It's just heartbreaking. Um, but that we're aware of there's no additional threats. Uh, so the community is safe here. Uh, officers are on control of the area. We have located what we believe to be a suspect's vehicle. We'll be going through that soon uh, after the bomb dog and the bomb squad checks it out. Uh, but again, we believe that we have the, the one suspect covered and that no one else is at immediate risk at this time and officers are currently working in property and working with their report on this, this incident. Chief, what can you tell us about the suspect? His age, his connection to the school? Sure, the, the suspect uh, appears to be about 20 years of age. Um, we haven't positively identified him yet uh, or and that will then lead to any relationship to a person on the school itself. Can, can we hold the questions until the end? We have a few other people that need to speak. We'll take questions at the end. Dr. Eichel. So I just want to say our hearts go out to uh, the victims of the tragedy, uh, certainly those who have lost loved ones. But as the chief has said, this is a community tragedy. All of us are impacted uh, by horrific incidents like this. Uh, we will continue to work with the school, with family members, uh, to complete the investigation. system uh, as they deal with their grief. So I do want to thank the officers for their response.
upcoming school year. They were bright eyed, bushy tailed, we laughed, we sang, we danced. And now to be here for such a devastating and traumatic situation breaks my heart, especially as a mother. My son called. administrators that were in place and moving and ready. Those were, that were there to support the students and those that are there right now with the students. We are also trying to make sure that families know that we are standing with you, that our phone lines are open. If you don't know who to talk to, you can call our office. The phone number is 314-955-9980. It's 314-955-9980. If you need resources, let me say to our students and to the faculty, if you need help, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not hold it to yourself. We can help. So reach out to our office. We want to be there to support you. We are just, we are, our hearts go out to each and every one of you. But as we're thinking about how to help, we will also be here on the ground to help. Our team is here and we will continue to be here for each and every one. Right, so the uh, the adult at the school, the adult female, once we get the information the next weekend, we'll identify her relationship to the school. But at the moment, we're going to respect that family and give them some time. We're we'll just waiting for notification. And for the team, uh, we'll remain here. Uh, hopefully, we'll have more information about their relationship. Like, I, I do want to say, I, I do want to yeah, that's a good question. I was just going to address that. The doors were locked. Right, the doors were locked. Don't be confused. The school was closed, but the doors were locked. The, the uh, security staff did an outstanding job identifying the suspect's uh, efforts to enter and immediately notified other staff and ensured that we were contacted. It was a timely response by that security officer. The fact that the door did cause pause for the suspect uh, that, that bought us some time. So, but yes, the doors were locked. So, I'm sorry, I'm confused. The doors were locked. How did he get in there? We're not going to talk about how the suspect came down. What kind of security is in place here at the school on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, doctor, all of our high schools are housed and secured in this particular building. There were seven active security in the building on today. So, they were located at the place where the kids are coming in, coming through the metal detectors. Uh, that's where they were today on both sides of the building. There were seven active officers on site today. Can you clarify how many were transported? 
eight, eight individuals were transported, including the suspect. What room was he in when the officers confronted him and shot him? So that it was on the third floor is uh, in, in a room. I don't know if it was a classroom. I believe it was. Um, but, you know, it, it just all kind of merged. I haven't been in. You know, it's a, it's, it is a crime scene, so I don't want to go with it. survivors have told uh, KMOX that they leaped out of a third floor, floor window. Did a police jump out of the window? Uh, we're not aware yet. Now, uh, understanding that hundreds of kids fled out of the building, which they should have done. Um, and thank God again for the teachers and the adults in the building who helped facilitate their escape. I don't know the means by which they left. As we go through our interview process, we'll learn more about that, but it's possible that they did do that. Do we know if any of the victims were targeted? Do we know if any of the victims were targeted? We won't know anything about that until the suspect has been identified. We know that suspect's relationship to the school and, and the victim. Did he fire at the officers? I'm sorry if I missed that. Yeah, there was an exchange of gunfire. Okay, yeah. All right. All right, so very heartbreaking day today in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, this is the information that we currently have. You guys just heard firsthand information from St. Louis City Police Department's chief, um, along with Councilwoman Corey Bush and the mayor of St. Louis, Tashara Jones. That's all the information that we do have at the current time. Once we get more information, we will gladly relay that information to you guys. Uh, let's definitely pray for all the victims and even the mental um, wellness mind state of everybody that's going to be affected by this because people will be affected by this.